What's up guys, Wade here, welcome back to WW Gaming. Today I'm going to be looking at Titanfall 2, a game that was developed by Respawn Entertainment and it came out on October 28th, 2016. So I decided to rent Titanfall 2 uh, instead of purchase it. Right now it's probably like 20 bucks right now to buy it, but I saw it at Redbox, said hey, why not pick it up, see how it is, give it a chance. Uh, it, very, it looked a lot like Call of Duty uh, when I first you know, put, set my eyes on it. Um, I did play it a little bit uh, a few months ago, but I just never got back into it, so I decided to pick it up again, uh, go ahead and finish it out. Um, most of my gameplay came from this, the second session, uh, so I spent a lot of time with it. Uh, the campaign was about six to seven hours long, uh, so definitely uh, not a long campaign, but uh, long enough to hold your focus. What really sets this game apart is that it does hold your focus. Uh, the characters are great. The Titans are great. The storyline is surprisingly good. Like, I didn't expect to like the story as much as I did, and the characters. Uh, so, there's a lot to like about this game. So, this review is primarily for the single player campaign. It pretty much is for the single player campaign. I didn't play any multiplayer at all. And I know the first Titanfall game was really known for the, you know, multiplayer, but uh, Titanfall 2 has definitely received positive reception from the campaign. Uh, some people criticize the writing and just the general just how short it was but hey I'm not going to complain about that because I really think that the campaign was solid it was short and sweet it didn't overstay its welcome uh, plus you know the game had a price drop pretty quickly so you, you're not I mean if you if you bought a day one I guess you could complain a little bit because the campaign is short but uh, a couple months later the price did drop and it's no problem so in the story, you play as Jack Cooper, who is a rifleman in the militia. One of his squad mates dies, and basically you have to team up with your former squad mate's um, Titan, which is named BT7274, who turns out to be an awesome character. <laughs> we'll get to that later. Uh, but basically you team up together, you and, the, you and your Titan, your new Titan, rather. Uh, so that's where the story kicks off. You're basically, throughout the whole entire campaign, you're with your Titan. Uh, and the gameplay uh, pretty much has elements of, you know, it's like kind of like mixed elements, like you have on foot, you have shooting. Uh, it's a, like I said, it's, a, it's an FPS, of course. But there are Titan, uh, you know, gameplay elements in there where you take control of the Titan, you have all these different loadouts you can get. Uh, and as the story progresses, you get different loadouts. So there's like, there's one called Scorch, there's, you know, several different ones with different kind of abilities, uh, like for fire, there's some for like, you know, burst fire. Uh, there's all kind of different uh, loadouts that have all kind of different elements to them. The gameplay in this game is twofold. You have on foot and you have inside of BT7274, which is your Titan. You have both of those elements combined in the gameplay uh, throughout the entire story. Uh, so that's what's cool about this game is that it is kind of like mixes those two elements, which makes it really cool. Uh, with your Titan, on the Titan side of it, you do have like several different loadouts. Uh, different abilities, uh, different kinds of... The guns are huge, by the way, when you're in Titan. Uh, so you have different types of guns, um, different kinds of abilities you can do. Uh, and on the other side, it's pretty much like a Call of Duty style gameplay, uh, which kind of surprises me that the game does it be almost better than Call of Duty. Like, the controls, the gunplay in this game, the aiming, the precision, uh, just how satisfying it is, like when you get a headshot, like it's just amazing. It's just beautiful and it's amazing. Just the gameplay, the, the shooting mechanics, everything here is fantastic. It literally blew my mind. So yes, the gameplay is on equal footing, I would say, with Call of Duty. It's a first-person shooter style game that, you know, has all the basic shooting mechanics, but at the same time, they're all so well done. They're all so polished. You just feel really feel like a bad A sometimes when you're playing this game, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, when you're when you're doing those Titan fights and you have BT7274 there with you, uh, just kind of going through it, you know, all the stuff's going on, all there's this fire everywhere, there's bullets flying everywhere, it's just so many Titans, you know, running around, it's just, it's so fun, um, even if it only happens a few times. But as far as the on-foot, you know, side of the game, you know, there is one big thing that this game has going for it, and it's, it's the wall running. Uh, the wall running in this game is used a lot, and it's something this, that the game prides itself on. So it does it really well. It does it wonderfully. I mean, yes, it may have been done before, but here the wall running is done a lot, and 
the way it feels like going through like just wall running on an object and then maybe you might have to like switch over you know to another object it's just the way that everything comes together is really nice another aspect that i like about this game is that in one mission you actually get to time travel and you have this device and it kind of lets you basically you just hit hit the L1 button or whatever system you're playing on. Um, you hit the hit that button and what happens is like the world instantly changes to the past. And if you hit it again, it changes to the present. So you may be like wall running or something and there's like an, an obstacle there. You hit that button, you know, and the obstacle may not be there. So it's kind of like, it's really cool how they implemented that in, into the game. And I like how it just, all the transitions happen. It's really cool, like, hit that button, keep hitting that button, and you can just go through different, you know, areas. You may avoid an enemy in the future that's not there in the past, or vice versa. Uh, so that's one of my favorite things about this game. The lie, the story, just is the one thing that really grabbed me. It really surprised me. It's something that I did not think I would like in this game. I thought it was gonna be just like this generic storyline, boring characters, and it totally took me, took me by surprise. Uh, the relationship between Cooper and BT7274 just was awesome. I'm, not, I'm just, I can't believe that I'm, I'm saying this, but uh, for a game that really didn't have much momentum behind it, for a game that came out at a bad time, for a game that is competing with Call of Duty, um, and for a game that's prequel, or its, uh, its predecessor didn't have a story at all. So this is like an original, you know, story. And it just took me by surprise. Well done. You know, I was getting kind of emotional at the end. I mean, I was like, man, this is this is hard stuff. After, you know, seeing what Cooper and his Titan have been through, you know, the Titan is kind of like, almost kind of reminds you of something like, you know, Big Hero 6 or something, where, you know, it's just kind of a, a guy, a human, and a robot, and it's just kind of like, you know, the, the, the robot has those human elements to them. You know, that kind of make them human, and that relationship between them is just something to behold. Overall, Titanfall 2 really surprised me. It really did. I didn't play the multiplayer, so I'm a single player gamer, you guys know that. Uh, but Titanfall 2 really surprised me. The story is surprisingly good. Uh, the two main characters are surprisingly great. They have a great camaraderie. Uh, it's, it's wonderful to watch their relationship kind of take off. Um, and just kind of see Cooper, how he wanted to be a pilot instead of a rifleman. And he eventually, as you can see, he, you know, achieved that dream of his. Uh, so combine that with just the unique style uh, gameplay elements that are thrown in there. Um, it really makes for a great game and a great experience. And I highly recommend this game. Uh, I wouldn't pay $60 for it, but you don't have to worry about that now since here we are more than a year later. So this is a game that I highly recommend, Titanfall 2, uh, go check it out. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 4.5 out of 5. Never thought I would say that. <laughs> this game, uh, I thought I was going to maybe give like a 3, 3.5 three tops. Um, but I picked it up, gave it a chance, surprised me. Go check it out. And as usual, thank you guys for watching. This is my channel, WWE Gaming. Uh, go down and hit subscribe if you're liking my reviews and my videos. Uh, be sure to comment what you thought about Titanfall 2. Uh, so just let me know with any feedback you have. And guys, thank you so much. Have a great day.